What's going on Blue Ridge family? So today we're uh, practicing the happy wife, happy life principle. Y'all ever heard of that? Well, here's what makes my wife happy. When I cook something on the fire to the tune of a homemade cheese and pepperoni calzone. So spend a little bit of time out by the fire, hanging out, not doing a whole lot. Hopefully you enjoy this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, mash that notification bell, and share this if you like these kind of recipes and want us to continue bringing you this kind of content. So stick around. This is going to be good. All right, here we go for the ingredient list. We have our homemade pizza dough. I've went ahead and divided this. I will go ahead and put that in the description below. It's a very, very simple pizza dough. It's a homemade pizza dough. It is shocking at how simple it is. Follow those steps. I've made this a couple of times and it is really, really good. We also have whole milk mozzarella sliced. Italian sausage, cooked that up this morning. Of course, gotta have pepperonis. A little bit of garlic. Me and Shannon both love garlic on our pizza. We've got our homemade marinara sauce. Uh, I'll put the recipe for this in the description below also. Basically, it's a couple of 8-ounce cans of crushed tomatoes or 16 ounces total, obviously, and one small can, which I think is about 6 ounces of tomato paste. Bring that to a simmer, and you can season it as you wish. I do add about a tablespoon or so of sugar just to kind of sweeten it up a little bit but in this recipe that i made i put some italian seasoning in it put some cr uh, crushed red pepper flakes and uh, just kind of make it your own but very very simple to do very good you don't have to buy the pizza sauce to store also i have some italian seasoning here i'm gonna put a little bit of tabasco on mine and this uh, non-stick spray as i work this dough out out here on the table i'll need that so ingredient list, not a ton of stuff in here, so uh, very simple, and I'm hungry. Let's get this thing started. Well, you can see, I don't know how good it shows up against this aluminum foil, but basically I used aluminum foil as my little table out here to get the dough spread out so just kind of work it out into a disc and keep going thinner and thinner and what you really want is to be pretty thin here in the middle you don't want it to be really thick that's how you get that good crispy crunchy crust uh, i've cooked these one other time and i got it just a little bit too thick but anyways so now that we've got the dough worked out we'll start putting these together so we've got the uh cast iron preheating we'll get all right shannon's always asking can she do anything to help so i have given her a job shannon your job today is to watch the the lodge cook it all and preheat it i need that to be exactly 450 degrees got it she's on it but all jokes aside when you're cooking with this lodge cook it all it's uh, really important that you preheat this stuff also, if you'll also notice in the fire, I put a whole lot of smaller sticks before I start cooking, maybe 30 minutes before, and that just helps give me a really good bed of coals, is what I've learned. Small sticks makes coal quicker. It's kind of common sense. But make sure you preheat your cast iron, because especially for this, it being pizza, you want it really hot, and it just cooks a whole lot better from my experience. All right, first up's gonna be Shannon's. She's not a big meat eater, so we're gonna put her a little extra cheese. And pepperonis only. 
Now what I like to do is put my cheese, leave a little bit around the edge right here so you can kind of seal it up. Let's put the cheese on first, that way we don't get all that soggy sauce on the bottom. Then we're gonna give this a good stir. You like a lot of marinara, right? She likes a lot of marinara. Oh yeah. Maybe too much, we don't know. And then load this dude up with pepperonis. Extra pepperonis. Then we're gonna take a little bit of this garlic, sprinkle this on. We like garlic too. Garlic is good. Italian seasoning. You want any hot sauce? Mm, no. Nope. Some crushed red pepper in the sauce. I'm good. And I'm going to put, eh, I'm not going to put any. I'll put another couple of stacks of cheese on top for you there. Now for the moment of truth. Can I get it all? Fold it over and seal it up. It appears so. Now the key thing, at least as far as I'm concerned, is thin on the top. You can take this, seal this off real good. If it makes a mess, we don't even care because it just tastes good. Then we're just going to take kind of roll those edges up on their self, seal them down, double seal them. It's okay if the edges are thicker because we got plenty of marinara and we can dip the bread in it if we want to, can't we? I love that. Right there's number one. All right, time for number two. Let's go down with the cheese first, again. Don't tell her, but I actually give me some extra cheese. Some of this good homemade marinara. I'm gonna go ahead and put my garlic on next. Now, I've got Italian sausage for mine because I love Italian sausage and I am definitely the carnivore in the family. So we'll spread this out a little on with the pepperonis. A little more cheese on top of that. Now, Shannon, I don't know what this is gonna look like. I might have overestimated. We're gonna find out. Oh, is it gonna stretch? It's gonna stretch. This is gonna be good. There it is. Look at that calzone. I can seal that up. Oh yeah. See, that's the beauty of cooking outside in a campfire is it don't really matter what it looks like as long as it tastes good. Roll those edges up just where so you can kind of get them sealed up good. All right, guys and gals, so that's how you stuff a calzone. I'm going to get these on the fire, get them going. Hopefully, it's preheated. Shannon, we preheated? Oh, yeah. We good? Thumbs up. She said it's preheated. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. All right, step number one. Well, not step number one. Got to preheat it first. I've laid some aluminum full down. You can see a bed of coals under there. This is preheated pretty decent. It's it's warmer than I would like to touch with my bare hand. Not a ton of coals under there, just one single level. Again, I put the aluminum full down just to keep the ground from sucking the heat out. And you can still see I've got the top over there getting nice and hot. So let's get these things transferred onto the uh, large cook it all. See how we do.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. We got it on. I'm suspecting somewhere about 25 to 30 minutes cook time. I'm going to check it here in about five minutes just to make sure we're not burning anything up because I have done this once, but I'm not really, really good at timing wise yet. So we'll see, but we'll keep you updated. Alright, it's been about 10 minutes, so the moment of truth, and hopefully I didn't hose this up. What do we got? Oh my dear goodness, looky here. I think we have got it nailed. If we look at the bottom, let me get that off. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. Looks good on the bottom. We're getting some golden brown on the top, so I would say... This is wind right here, so let's get this back on the thing and finish cooking. So we have been at officially, let me get my glove off here. A little longer than I thought. We've been about 35 minutes. The only thing I did, I checked it again since the last time I got with you. Put a little bit more coals on it, nothing else. So, Shannon, if you can, come in here a little bit closer. Woo. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna switch around. I'm gonna go around because it's... Coming around the back side to smoke. Okay. Here we go. The reveal. How'd we do? Ooh. Oh yeah. I believe that right there is done. Had a little bit of leakage, which is fine. So, Let's get these over here on the table and cut them. I'm hungry. All right, we got them out here on the plate. Just a couple of coals on there, not bad. But I want you to listen to this right here. If you can hear it for the wind, let's see. You can hear that nice crisp crust. The moment of truth. Let's see how we did. Let's get some of that marinara. Crispy crust, very good marinara. Plenty of garlic in there, can't beat that. So overall, I'm gonna have to give it a, I don't know, 12 out of 10, <laughs> cause it's that good. Hey, you don't have to cook this outside either. You can use this recipe at home. Hopefully you'll enjoy this. As I said before, share this with somebody if you think they'd enjoy it too, cause we enjoy bringing it to you. Thanks for sticking around. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here